Good morning, folks. If the sun looks darker than usual, it's not my editing. There are no bright spots, no sunspots, no umbral magnetic fields of note. Just a calm dance towards the cycle minimum. And so we come to spaceweathernews.com and find that there are still reasons to be watching the sun. Central dark thin plasma filaments are eruption threats to be sure. Hopefully they stay put today and turn away from Earth-directed positions. Closest thing to an active region is the bright area on the left side, north of the equator. There are no sunspots at this time, but we can see it is still the most magnetic surface region turning into view now here on the HMI magnetogram. Solar wind here, still dropping out in intensity, and we're still awaiting a coronal hole stream. That weight pushed four straight zero blocks on the KP index chart, means we had a brief minor level cosmic ray health alert yesterday, over for the time being. But if you go to spaceweathernews.com and see the latest news section, you will find a link to the Space Weather Health Alerts page. Be sure to bookmark that one. When we come to 211 angstroms, it's not wholly surprising that we are still waiting. The coronal holes are very thin and stretched out as opposed to having massive bulky coronal holes. That's another reason we've continued below average quaking as the first six-pointer in a week finally showed up yesterday in the Nicobar Islands. This region held a yellow alert at that time, which means that if a crustal event were to happen there, its maximum magnitude potential was 5.6 to 6.3, right in the middle of it. On to our top stories. So while investigating a globular cluster, the X9 binary system showed some of its true colors. They thought that a cool sun-like star was orbiting a white dwarf, but now think it might be a white dwarf orbiting what the mainstream describes as a black hole but it does so every 30 minutes and is the closest known orbiting pair of its kind. Up next, we're at the South Pole Tiger Stripes of Enceladus, Saturn's icy moon. New microwave imagery taken over the region reveals heat coming from the cracked regions, which suggests they may not be as inactive as we thought, and that ice crust above liquid water ocean is likely only about two miles thick at the South Pole. Top weather story today on a large scale has already started pounding the Appalachians with snow. As it tracks up the coast, it trades tropical vapor for cooler vapor off the Atlantic coastline, pulling it right into the cold flow out of Canada. Folks, remember you can use any earthquake forecasting technique you want to play the challenge. Even if you aren't a site member, there is still a lot you can win. For website members at suspiciousobservers.org, your last four episodes of Deeper Look are a lot of fun to blaze through. Touched on earthquakes, historical extinctions, earthquake forecasting tips, which will be coming a lot more often, and a new space weather tool. Coming up here, we've got pressure and radar forecasts for the rest of the world, a run up through the atmosphere, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.